Hi everybody, it's Neil. Welcome to my, I guess, family room here. And today I have the YYD Robo Electric Scooter Z1. So we're gonna check this out. I, I only broke the seal in the box. I didn't uh, take it out yet. You can see it's in there. So let's see how this looks. It smells like plastic and it's very warm. I guess the delivery guy just brought it here. This is what it looks like here. Put it down. Sorry, just taking everything out of the box. There, so there we go. See, all that's left in the box is the packing stuff. So let's check this thing out. So it looks like it's got a nice big wide deck. This is the handlebar stuff, and you can see on the side over here, flip it around a little bit there, you can see there's a kick gen. So that's kind of nice, so you can just put it down like that, which is how I got it. So let's See how to put this thing together and give it a little try, see what's in it. So, why would I be so low? so let's see if there's any instructions or if I just have to wing it. Pretty much. And they have to mostly wing it. So let's see what we got here with the handlebar. So I'm guessing. Oh, it's got a couple of screws in here. Let's take those off, right? I'm gonna need those to fit through there, yeah. Oops, there's one and two, so there's both the screws off. And let's see how this goes. I'm gonna have to push this, so it's gonna go this way. Jam all this wire in here. I don't know if you guys can see, hopefully you can see what's going on, not too far away. Okay, so there, now that's put in there, and now we'll put these little screws on, and let me move this back here for a second. So when it goes up, you see it goes up and then you got this clip that clips into there to keep it on. So that's good. And now we're going to put the screws in. So there's one. difficult here. I think you guys can see everything that's going on. Yeah. And it came with this little wrench. So that was kind of nice. So here we go. And it is put together. And so it comes with this power adapter here for it, the charger for it. So here you can kind of see what it looks like here. It just has a a little plug there, we should plug it into the wall with a little two-prong plug, and then this here will probably go into the back section. On the other side, there's a little port for it. So let's check this thing out, see what it looks like. Let's fix this envelope. So, just thanks for buying it. Okay, so let's see what we got here. So I'm gonna move it a little closer so you guys can see some stuff on it. So right there is where I screwed it in. It's got a little little hanger here. So that's kind of cool so I could hang my, um, like a backpack or something like that on it. Let's try to turn it on here for the first time. So let's push the button and there it goes. It's turned on and it looks like it comes with a full battery and it's got Bluetooth. So we'll have to connect that up as well to my, to my, uh, that, um, to my, to my phone. And it's got a little bell, kind of nice. And then this, I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, the speed is from this thing here. You push that down to speed up and slow down. And I'm sure you have to get it started to go. And let's see what else do I want to show you on it. It's got the little, oh, can't see that from there. Let's see, gotta go back. So I'm not sure if this is a brake or what. 
yeah, to brake. So when you're driving, you can kind of push this down, that'll slow you down a little. If you need to brake, um, it's got the kickstand, which I showed you. And then this is the wire for the brake as well. I guess that's the, this is gonna be the front brake and then the back brake you can step on. And then on the back, on the bottom here, you can see on this side, this is where you plug it in right there. It's got a little cover and it's got a little adapter for the, the battery. So we're gonna go outside and give this thing a little try and see how we do. So let's go. Okay, so here we are outside of my house and we're gonna give it a try. I haven't even ridden it yet, so you're gonna see it the first time I'm trying it. Although I've ridden scooters before. So let's put the kickstand up and we'll see how it goes if it works. Okie doke, so it looks like it went really fast. This one, I had one before that went maximum about 10 miles an hour. This one here, it says it's going 17. I haven't hooked it up to my phone yet, so we're gonna give that a try too and see if that's pretty accurate. But this one did feel much faster than my other one was. Um, so I like it. Uh, so thumbs up from me. This is the YYD Robo AI Robo Innovator. So you pick that one up because man, this thing's sweet. I like it. Thumbs up from me and I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I figured out a few things on the scooter. This is the app that it would load on my phone. I'm actually showing it on my iPad because my phone is what I'm recording with now, but I did put my phone on the scooter and I was able to do it. And so this, if you have this running while you're driving, it'll tell you your speed. And, um, and then it's got two different gears too. So if you put it in the first gear mode, then it'll go up to like 10 miles an hour. And if you put it in the second gear mode, that's when it goes up to 18. And I got it up to about 17 and a half. It wouldn't quite go 18 for me. And that was even with a little bit of backwind, but I guess I'm about 180 pounds. Maybe if you're less than me, it'll go faster. Maybe it's based on the weight. I don't know, but you can see it's got the different settings and I can even set, let me see if I aim the thing here at the scooter. If I push the button for the front light, turns a little light on on it, you know, and then it's got a backlight as well. Um, I think settings, rear light on, and I'm guessing there's a rear light on there. Let me see. I don't know, let's see. Oh, it's got some little LED lights on the back, but whatever. Okay, so that's the, uh, that. And then you can set different things like uh, cruise speed. So if I put that on, then when I get to a certain speed, if I hold that speed for like five seconds or so, it'll just keep going that speed so I don't have to keep holding the throttle. Um, you know, usually I'm a max speed kind of guy if I'm only gonna go like 15 miles an hour, but uh, whatever. And then um, what else? You can set it to miles and kilometers and that's basically the different settings for it. So there you can see what the app looks like. It connected super easy. I wasn't able to register an account um, I tried a couple of times, but that seemed, didn't seem to work, but you don't have to, you just hit next and then it goes right through to the app. So i um, not sure what registering would do for you. Maybe it would store your rides in the cloud somewhere or something. I don't know, but I skipped it anyways. Um, but that is it. And you can see my battery power is still at 74%. When I started, it was like 88. And well, this I wasn't using this one here, but I rode about a half a mile. So, you know, um, just depending on, and I didn't charge it yet or anything like that. So I'm guessing, you'll probably get 15 miles out of it on a charge, uh, maybe a little bit more or less, just depending on, on your driving habits and stuff. But that's kind of it, so there you go. So uh, back to it, thumbs up, love it, and thanks for watching, and see you later, bye.